The 2014 Delta State football green and white spring game played out under beautiful April conditions here at Parker Field and McCool Stadium in Cleveland. Plenty of fans in the stands, and if they saw nothing else, they saw a very fast football team. We want to be the fastest team in this league, which is saying a lot because there are tremendously fast teams in this league. I mean, you go from top to bottom, everybody's got speed. Of course, that's geographically, that's where we are. Uh, a lot of speed in the southeast, and uh, so, but we're trying to do our part. We want a total team speed that, that shows up also on special teams. A few highlights for you here. Good pass from reigning Golf Top Conference Freshman of the Year, Tyler Sullivan to Jerome Stewart, and Stewart gets some yards after that catch. My camera skills are lacking a little in this one, but Romello Wilson snags an interception there for the Delta defense, and, uh, well, they're pretty excited about it. Sullivan back in at QB. Now this pass goes to Ricky Hunt. He turns on the Jets. Gets a little downfield before being dragged down on his way to the end zone. First touchdown of the day is a handoff to running back Tim Foy. He's across the goal line for the Statesman offense. Morgan Fennell under center now. Jarvis York with the catch. No one wraps him up. Down the sidelines he goes with a few good blocks to help. A long touchdown there for the Statesman offense. The defense was awesome all day, but there's a lapse here when Sullivan hits a wide open Justin Levy. That's another good touchdown for the offense. The defense stepping in front of a pass here. Rico Beckwith with the interception for the guys in green. Check out another offensive score. Sullivan to Hunt. Ricky catches it just inside the goal line for the touchdown there. Travis Champion at the helm now under the watchful eye of Coach Cooley. Another touchdown pass to Hunt for the Delta offense. And finally here, a short scoring pass on the run from Fennell to Rod Davis. The few weeks that coaches get with the squad in the spring are crucial to player and team development. A great time to learn a few lessons. I think we learned that what we can be. I think we learned, you know, we know how to do things now, how we want things done. I think we learned that we can be good in all three phases. And, uh, you know, that's the first impressions I'm taking away from the scrimmage today is that we can be good in all three phases, offensively, defensively, and special teams. And when you do that, you got a chance to have a good team. Head coach Todd Cooley will be the first person to admit it took the offense a little time to settle in, find a rhythm, and score in the spring game. After about nine stalled drives, Statesman offense found the end zone. It was nothing but the defense keeping them out of touchdown territory. No doubt. No question about it. They, uh, they were everywhere, and, and that's what we want. I mean, that, that, that was a, a point of emphasis coming into recruiting. That was a point of emphasis coming into the season. Not that we were bad defensively last year. We just weren't where we want to be. And we know that in order to be uh, where we want to be at a championship level, we've got to run the ball better, and we've got to be able to play better defense. And I think that right, what you're seeing now is the defense that we envision. People coming from everywhere, a lot of speed, those type of things, and, and we're excited about where we are. From the first whistle to the last, the Statesman defense brought a new speed onto the field. With a faster defense comes bigger hits. And fans heard the crack of several good tackles in the green and white game. Well, I think that we've been very physical this spring, and I think that when you get faster guys, the collisions are just going to be that much greater, and that just is part of it. Not to be outdone, the Statesman offense kicked it into gear, totaling 99 snaps in just 61 minutes, and that doesn't include special teams. The offensive air game was pretty much as efficient as ever, but the run game never saw a breakout play. That doesn't mean the running backs didn't play hard. Tim Foy scored the first touchdown of the day, and Eddie McCadney ran in the last pretty good for just the two of them. We'd like to get better. You know, we want to hit the home runs like everybody does, but um, we like the big. We like big backs, and Tim's a big back, and Eddie's a big back, and uh, you know, they they were the only two we had today. Uh, you know, Kentarius Gray got hurt early this week. Uh, he 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 couldn't go today. Uh, we're holding Justin McArthur out with a shoulder surgery. Trace Bray's out, so um, we only had two going into spring. Of course, Dewan got hurt. He's more of a speed guy, and when those, I was proud of those two guys. They kept running the ball hard. They're very durable, and that's what you got to have in this league. Coach Cooley says he was impressed with punter Justin Holt. Vince Sherrata split the uprights with every field goal he attempted, and a few new faces on special teams got the chance to punt and kick. We've improved. You know, Mark Moore's come in and give us a little more depth at that position as well. Uh, I thought Justin Holt did a great job. He backed up the one punt down here and, and did a great job punting the football, and I feel like our, our special teams have taken a good jump this spring. Uh, you know, that was a point of emphasis for me. I took that over this spring because I felt like it, it would bring more emphasis with the head coach doing it. 
and I've enjoyed it. I've, I've got to help go back and learn. It's the first time I've ever done it, and I've enjoyed it so far. Of course, we hadn't played a game yet. You know, the first time we get a pump block, I'm not going to enjoy it. I might fire myself, but uh, right now I'm pretty excited about where we are. The green and white game is always a fun way to wrap up spring drills, and just like every other Delta State game, the team gave 100%. I am. I thought we played hard. I thought we did some good things. We made a lot of mistakes. Uh, a lot of that's due to the fact that we couldn't get two or three good practices in a row because of the weather and the field conditions. But we're going to try to address that, and, and hopefully Mother Nature will be more kind to us in August. The Statesmen had plenty of support on Saturday, April 12th for the 2014 Green and White game. Just another step in the right direction for Cooley and company. What a crowd. What a crowd. It just keeps getting bigger and better, and that's, that's what we got to do. I mean, our university is only going to get bigger, only going to get better. And we feel like we've got a big part of that, and we're going to try to keep doing our part. The state's been now turned toward fall camp and started the 2014 season. All coaches would love to be able to work with their players every day in the summer, but since that's not going to happen, Cooley and his staff trust that the statesman will work hard in the offseason and come back ready to roll. Just be committed to this. Be committed to what we're doing. We want guys who are committed to the family. We don't want guys that are committed to themselves. We don't want guys that are in this for the wrong reasons, and we feel like we've got that. So we'll just keep working and, and keep uh, trying to get better. So spring football is officially over. As head coach Todd Cooley said, his team learned a lot, and we will see the Statesmen back on the gridiron in the fall. For GoStatesmen.com, I'm Katie Smith.